Hi, this is Kristen from Pink Toes and Power Tools, and I'm going to show you how to cut apart a piece of plywood with a circular saw. Right now, I've got a piece of half inch ply um, resting on two by fours to minimize kickback, and um, I've got my saw cutting guide that I built, and you can see how to build your own in the how to section on my blog. The first thing I like to do, is even though it's a sheet good and it should be square, I double check. So I check each corner, like so. And I determined already that this side is not, um, that corner up there is not a good square. So I'm going to start from this side because I'm going to have a little bit of waste on this side and that it won't matter for my final cuts. Now, what I need to do is I'm cutting a 13 and 3 quarter inch wide board off of here. So I'm going to measure 13 and 3 quarters. And then here in the middle, I like to use a square to make sure that my tape measures going straight up. I find that I get a much more accurate mark if I do that. And I generally do about four or something this length. because you don't want to cut away the width of your saw blade into the length that you want. It's called the kerf. And you want to make sure that that goes on the waist side of your cut. So now I'm going to line up the side that has the edge of the saw to the edge of the blade. I want that side lined up here. Right on my mark. check my inside marks here. It looks like you know you can't get a perfect cut with a circular saw, but you can get pretty close, especially if you're very careful about your setup. I would love a table saw so I had nice 90 degree cuts, but that's not in the stars right now. Okay, so got my circular saw and what you want to do is you want I'm going to unplug this. Well, you won't be able to see it anyway because it's too far away, but you want the wood, you want the half of the tooth of your blade to um, be what exits the cut underneath. So I've got half inch ply with a half inch ply guide and that means I've set my blade depth at just slightly over an inch, just the tiniest bit over an inch. Okay, I always knot the um, extension cord with the actual cord with the circular saw because it has come undone in the middle of the cut for me before. Not something you want to happen. And you want a whole length of this ready so you're not getting hung up on stuff. The last thing you want to be doing is worrying about how much cord you got left for your cut. Okay, eye protection and hearing. I throw this over my left shoulder. Got steel toes on, not the prettiest, but keep my toes safe. I 
hope. Okay, line it up with the edge. You want to make sure that you've got the pressure over top of your circular saw as you're moving down. Um, it keeps it right against the guide and gives you a nice straight up and down cut for as good as you're going to get with a circular saw. the back side of the board if I was, um, already determined and I forgot to tell you that you want the good side of your plywood facing down. It minimizes um, tear out on the good side of the plywood. You'll have a little bit um, with you'll have a little bit with a lengthwise cut like this but it's not too bad. So I mark the end that way I don't guess I've got it over here. And it also tells me this is the bad side of the board, so that's what I marked on. So now I need a cut that is 12 and 3 fourths. Okay, now we uh, already cut our long um, lengthwise cuts. Now we're going to do cross cuts. These have more of a tendency to um, tear out. So when I first started doing this, I did what other people would said and um, use painter's tape and tape both sides of the cut and it does minimize cut out quite a bit, but these are going to be on drawers and um, the, or tear out and uh, I'm not real worried about it, so I'm, I'm not going to do any of that. Some other people um, use a knife and, and cut an indentation in here. Um, that works too. But like I said, I'm not going to worry about that this time. I've got my shorter guide here. I don't recommend, some people say, to put a board underneath here, screw it on, and you can use that to score things up. I don't recommend it. Uh, I think this stuff gets bent, and I just think this is more accurate. So I do not use mine. Now, you want your support boards to run perpendicular to your cut. So my boards are running this way, the cut's going this way. That supports both sides of your plywood.
something else I didn't mention. You want to make sure you go at a, as fast enough pace that you are not burning the wood, um, but slow enough that you're minimizing the tear out. So it's kind of a not exact science, but um, you know, if you're going to paint, it's not as much of a deal. You can just sand out any burn marks, but that always smell burning smell a little bit. And I'm going to mark this one again. 